it looks like a lunar landscape. Dmitry Leonchuk has come here to survey the damage. He's an environmental activist and belongs to the pro-European Atomaidan movement. These craters are the result of amber mining. The company responsible was supposed to have reforested the land, but that clearly hasn't happened. Instead, new craters have been formed. It was probably illegal amber diggers who took advantage of the opportunity or bribed the police who guard the area. The activist meets a group of men nearby in the village of Klesev in northwestern Ukraine. Eventually, they agree to show him the fruits of their mining activities. Possession of illegally mined amber can lead to prosecution in Ukraine. The small heap of stones could fetch 1,000 U.S. dollars on the black market. The men say the gemstone is especially sought after by Chinese buyers. The illegal mining has been a financial boon for the village, where the money has been used to build houses. The men responsible say they're doing the local area a favor. They've been able to build a playground, and there are plans to improve the roads, too. Vasil maintains the government is aware of, and even cashes in on, illegal mining. Illegal amber mining is good business for the guys at the top, too. The bureaucrats don't have to invest anything and still end up better off. He's referring to bribes. The miners say police officers and security officials turn a blind eye to the illegal activities in exchange for cash payments. Dmitry Leonchuk wants to change that. He says huge areas are being destroyed by illegal mining. We're talking about thousands or even hundreds of thousands of people who are mining amber in the forest. It's totally chaotic. There's no system in place. There's evidence to back up the claim. This aerial footage, shot by the group of activists, gives an indication of the extent of the damage. The illegal miners are using pumps to wash the amber toward the surface. They plumb to a depth of 20 meters. The fracking is a huge earner. Dmitry Leonchuk and the other activists managed to film the illegal mining with their cell phones. The footage shows miners, almost resembling worker ants, laboring hard. It's said that installing a pump costs around $600 in bribes. That ensures the authorities turn a blind eye. This is what the landscape looks like after the illegal miners have left. The areas around the mine have become barren, destroyed. Dmitry Leonchuk has proposed an alternative. Mining could be legalized, and we could organize it in such a way that everyone can profit. A cooperative with 10 to 15 residents would have enough work for two to three years. After they've mined the area, they should then have to refill the holes, plant trees, and reforest the area. Sales of the final product fetch billions on the global market, especially in Europe and China. Dmitry Leonchuk can understand why the many impoverished people from this region feel entitled to a piece of the pie. He envisions a new system, one in which the environment is respected and money generated from amber mining would remain in the area and not end up in the hands of corrupt officials. <laughs>